It's great to be with you all. And uh, I was going to say good afternoon, but we're starting this meeting late because I was engaged in preparing for a trip to the Middle East. But today is a historic day. And thank you, Vice President Harris, uh, Chair of the National Space Council. And thank you, my dear friend and our outstanding NASA administrator and the guy, only guy here that's been in space, Bill Nelson. Bill, you're a good friend. Thank you very much for what you're doing. And, uh, um, and Dr. Nelson, you're doing a great job leading this Office of Science and Technology and Policy. It really is a matter. It really is amazing. Six and a half months ago, a rocket launched from Earth carrying the world's newest, most powerful deep space telescope on a journey one million miles into the cosmos. First of all, that blows my mind. A million miles into the cosmos. Along the way, unfolding itself, deploying a mirror 21 feet wide, a sun shield the size of a tennis court, and 250,000 tiny shutters, each one smaller than a grain of sand. Put together, it's a new window into the history of our universe. And today, we're going to get a glimpse of the first light to shine through that window. Light from other worlds, orbiting stars, far beyond our own. It's astounding to me when I read this and saw the first. I mean, it really is. It's, it's, anyway, I don't want to. I'll see what they think when we see this. But light where stars were born and from where they die. Light from the oldest galaxies, the oldest documented light in the history of the universe from over 13 billion, let me say that again, 13 billion years ago. It's hard to even fathom. Tomorrow, when this image is shared with the world, it'll be a historic moment for science and technology, for astronomy and space exploration, for America and all of humanity. You know, as an international collaboration, this telescope embodies how America leads the world, not by the example of our power, but the power of our example, a partnership with others. It symbolizes the relentless spirit of American ingenuity, and it shows what we can achieve, what more we can discover, not just about distant places, but about our very own planet and climate, like NASA's Earth Systems Observatory that we launched last year. That's why the federal government must invest, must invest in science and technology more than we have in the past. These images are going to remind the world that America can do big things and then remind the American people, especially our children, that there's nothing beyond our capacity, nothing beyond our capacity. We can see possibilities no one has ever seen before. We can go places no one has ever gone before. You know, you've, you, you've heard me say over and over again, America is defined by one single word, possibilities, possibilities. I want to thank the team at NASA for once again showing that that's who we are. That's who we are as a nation, a nation of possibilities. And now let's take a look at the very first image from this miraculous telescope. NASA Administrator Nelson, I'm going to turn this over to you. So will you please tell us about what 